Hey guys, it's Val. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. So last time I did the uh, entire teapot quest thing. Fun times. Uh, well, not for me, but maybe for you guys. Who knows? So let's access all this. Uh, this time around, I will be... Well, I do plan on also um, getting at least half of uh, the remaining geoculi, but... Oops, wrong button. But the first thing I want to tackle is this event. Because uh, everything's dropped now, and... Yeah, there's only five days left. So. We shall navigate. What am I... Daily is there? God damn it. Well, I'll do the dailies later. <laughs> All right. And some world quests in here, but that's okay. I'll pick them up later. God damn it. I have to check the notice first. I forgot. I forgot. Where's that stupid notice? Right there. It sounds like a bad idea. Look, traveler, an urgent hiring notice, and they're paying top more too. Oh, Paimon likes the sound of that. You would. Uh, strange. Why would Wang Shu In suddenly need a new chef? Hmm. You're right. It is strange. Do you think something happened to Yen Xiao? Cause that guy barely lets anyone ever set foot in his kitchen. Doesn't exactly seem like the type to hire help. Yeah, it probably wasn't him. The notice says interested parties should go upstairs and talk to the innkeeper who I am. Should we go and see what's up? Uh, you want to check how much the job pays, don't you? Uh, well, that. And to check up on Yan Chow, of course. Yeah, sure. I don't believe you, ma'am. What do you mean, you busy in a quest? Apparently, I have to do my daily. <laughs> well, that's not fun at all. Uh, this is one thing after the another. What's wrong? This location. It's a real challenge to run it in here. It could just be me, but I feel like we're seeing more and more monsters around these parts recently. They wouldn't dare come anywhere near the inn itself, but guests need to need in and, need to get in and out, and the Millilith can't be here all the time. If you're free, do you think you could take a look around and clear out any monsters nearby? Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, I must say I do find your forthrightness refreshing. Speaking of tiring jobs. I do feel bad making you do this, but I promise I will make it worth your time. Best of luck, and thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. Since the goddamn dailies has, uh, broken the flow. Am I getting any closer? Okay, I am. Geoculus. In there. It's actually in the tree. Right there. I collect it later. Mostly so I don't uh, lose track, because um, I will be consulting the interactive map to make sure that I uh, don't miss any, even though I'm still likely to miss some, because I seem to do that. 
Like, even on my main account? Ugh. So, you know, get the hell down. Oh, that looked great. That was actually really cool. Jack of the Sir, too. But I'm going to ignore it because I'm trying to do an event. The game's being a bit of a penis. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. How's it coming along? All clear? All clear. Great. Thanks a lot. Here's your payment. These days, honestly, I hadn't done martial arts since... I was a kid, I wouldn't dream about working in a hospitality sector. Okay, the oh, thing's done. There's really no need for this. It's just a little burn, that's all. It won't get in the way of my work. Perhaps not, but continuing to work will only hinder your recovery. You need to rest for a few days. We'll figure something out. Oh? Traveler and Paimon! What brings you to this neck of the woods? We saw your hiring notice downstairs. And we decided to come check out... Um... Check up on Yanchao. <laughs> Smooth recovery. Uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm fine. I swear. Sure. How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yanchao's behalf, too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yanchao. Just tell them what happened. Oh, all right. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern ride. Mm. Things got busy, I started rushing, and I ended up accidentally burning my hand while plating a dish. That doesn't sound like you. Well, you know what they say. Play with fire long enough, and you're bound to get burned. E even the best chefs slip up sometimes. A anyway, it's nothing. Uh, just a tiny burn. I can still... Now, now. I don't want you pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll be looking at more than just a couple of days off to recover. Yeah. But the lantern rites only just finished. And we're still getting tons of guests. Now's <laughs> not a good time for me to rest. B uh, uh, plus, lots of the guests mm -hmm. are from other nations. We can't just bring in some random <laughs> stuff off the street. We have a reputation to uphold. I I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. You'll be fine. <laughs> Listen to you. Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. <laughs> but he's not wrong. Yan Shao was one of the favorites in the Masterful Chefs Tournament. Mm -hmm. No matter how you look at it, his are big boots to fill. Yeah, I could take it. I don't mean to boast. But any chef of my caliber probably has their own restaurant to look after. It's not going to be easy to find someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. I don't mean to boast, but I'm going to boast. Mm. Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. Yeah. Hmm. Do we know anyone that's a good chef and has the time to help out? Sometimes the answer you're looking for is right under your nose. There's a fucking cat in here and I want to see it. 
Yep. Oh, right. Yes. Now I think about it. I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. <laughs> I suppose I'd added you to my mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. Uh, in this case, it's okay that you forgot, considering, you know, uh, I haven't done that much of it in this file. <laughs> Why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. Oh, God damn it! More importantly, I'm sure Yan Shao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if anyone's. What do you think, Yan Shao? Well, since it's you, I suppose that's better than anyone else. Mm. What do you think, Traveler? Should we do it? Uh, never thought I'd see the day when Yan Shao leaves his kitchen. I should warn you that cooking for customers is quite a different ball game from cooking for yourself. So, I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days to help smooth things over. I have uh, I have cooked for people before, oh, so you know. so he's not leaving the kitchen after all. I believe there's some spare kitchenware here at the inn. Boss, uh, would you mind? Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Whew. All done. Come, take a look. This was made with your measurements in mind. This carpentry is incredible. You've missed your true calling. Ah, it's nothing. A little handicraft and elbow grease goes a long way. All right, Yan Shao. I'll leave you to take it from here. Mm. He really went to all the trouble of building a new stovetop? What was wrong with the original? Boy, you really hate when people touch your stuff, huh? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. As Boss always says, hire who you trust and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for you. Uh, well, everyone looks short compared to you. Uh, um, uh, anyway, as I was <laughs> saying, cooking for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Not only do you have to execute on taste, aroma, and appearance, but you also need to ensure speed, precision, and consistency. Mm -hmm. Having the right equipment is a big part of that. Ill-suited equipment doesn't just make the job more tiring, it also slows you down. And paying customers don't have unlimited patience. Sometimes cooking is all about being well prepared. That's how you ensure speed. Okay, and what about precision and consistency? Practice dipshit. Uh, precision all comes down to using your eyes. Where to slice into a particular cut of meat. How much oil to use. How to tell when a dish is done cooking. When you cook for yourself, you can always add salt if it's too bland, or add water if it's too salty. You can tweak the taste as you go, but in a restaurant, there's not that much room for trial and error. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Worst case scenario, Paimon can deal with any subpar dishes by making sure they get properly disposed of. <laughs> the final thing you have to focus on is consistency. You have to be able to handle the most challenging orders with the same level of technique and skill as the easiest ones. This is particularly important when you have guests from all over, each with their own tastes and preferences. You have to cater to their own dietary needs while also giving them the opportunity to enjoy our local delicacies. Uh, I'm gonna have to lightly disagree with that. The thing about a restaurant is that whatever they have on the menu is what they have on the menu. They don't create custom shit for customers. If customers want something that the menu does not provide, that is not the fault of the restaurant. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's like, like if there's like little tweaks, like, oh, well, I need a uh, like maybe like maybe if they offer like a gluten-free variety of one thing or a vegan version of another thing, you know, that kind of stuff. I can understand that, but like I don't I don't know. Maybe that's what he's saying, but that just doesn't that's not what it comes off as to me, so I'm just like, eh. This last point is making Paimon's head spin. You're dumb. 
Don't worry. Matter of fact, someone as well traveled as you may even have a better handle on it than me once you get started. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'll be around to help you over the next few days. I don't think we'll have any trouble making all our guests feel right at home. Q. Now, um this uh This event, I apologize, it's going to have sequence breaks. Because, um, it's going to introduce characters that we have not met yet, do not know anything about, but in the context of the event, obviously they're going to treat it as if you know everybody. So, yeah, uh, I didn't want to do a sequence break, and I apologize, but... We're gonna do a sequence break. <laughs> There's no time to lose, so let's get started. I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. What yes. you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Try not to get them mixed up. Matafaka. Oh, Paimon's memory is like a steel trap. This is gonna be a cinch. This actually hurts my soul because um uh a job that I did do, like like a decade ago was actually um you know essentially the same concept as a waitress but I, it wasn't like a big restaurant it was actually a pizza hut um i was just a server and i was able to more or less remember the tables that wanted certain things the problem was that when things got hectic i started messing up orders and uh yeah it was it was a little bit too strenuous for me i wouldn't be able to get back into that kind of a uh, setup i don't think at least not with how things are for me but yeah anyway at the end of the day Out of it, Paimon. Was Paimon just sleep floating? <laughs> You've been talking nonsense since about halfway through the day. Uh, we didn't even get a break in the middle. Paimon's brain is turned to mush. Is it always this busy here? No, but this is peak season. You both did a mighty fine job for your first time serving guests at the inn. Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. No strange requests? Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled in soy sauce. Even Paimon has never tried that combination. <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Leo cuisine. Also, the thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Uh, excuse me, are you still open by any chance? Mm hmm. Uh, Paimon knows that voice. <gasps> Let's go check it out! So we're going- the first people we get to meet are from Fontaine. So... Uh, what should we do? It doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, if only we'd gotten here a bit sooner. It's all right. If we start building a campfire now, we'll be eating before too long. Right. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Linny. So busy being a greedy culture vulture that he lost track of time. Mm -hmm. Paimon? So, is the Traveler here? Yes. 
Yeah, so this is probably the biggest sequence break because um, we're not going to be seeing these assholes until we get to Fontaine and f based on how they have the areas set up, Fontaine is region number five. We only finish number two. <laughs> Greetings. Kessler, Paimon. What a nice surprise. Sup? Paimon was going to say the same thing. Lending a helping hand at the end. You fill the three of them in. Anyway, so that's how we ended up here. Well, what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission? Yes. Uh, never mind. No, quite the opposite, actually. We're in Liyue on vacation. And while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened recently. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue, especially since it's lantern rite season. Well, actually, it's the end of it, but, you know. And the cultural tour Lenny mentioned? We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue-style magic show. Although... I think they call it conjuring here. I haven't seen any such thing. You are the only magic show type thing that I have seen. Uh, in our time here, we've seen conjuring tricks incorporated into a Liyue opera show and even a wushu dance. It was amazing. So we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us mm -hmm. we visited granny roshin in chingsa village not long ago and today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here in the end though we lost track of time we haven't even eaten anything yet <laughs> and speaking of eating as you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. I hate that line, that whole, as you know, because, uh, you know, if I know, why are you telling me? <laughs> we simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Mm. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? That fish one with the misleading name. Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Oh, you mean black back perch soup? You're right. The name doesn't give much away. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful. Blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire. She could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. That was different. What? Aren't you guys hungry too? Uh, yes, a little. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Traveler, I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen now. No problem. What would you like? Hmm. Good question. Oh god. I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? You should be pretty familiar with our tastes. Uh, well, I mean, technically no, at least not according to this file, but... Okay, I'll figure something out. Uh, one more thing. Please, if you have a heart, don't make it spicy. Okay, I'll make it the spiciest thing ever. That's not true. Yeah. Squeeze me. <laughs> Fontaine, huh? No wonder they can't handle too much spice. Still, if we make the food too bland, they might as well be eating back home. What do you recommend? Hmm. There's this crab and shrimp stir-fry I know that could work. It's quite heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. It has a light but really satisfying flavor. Mm. Ooh, that sounds perfect! What's it called? <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. They call it the Palace Jewels. 
The crab roe is supposed to look like pearls of gold, and the shrimp meat like chunks of jade. That's a pretty enigmatic name. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. Cool. Okay, in each challenge of receiver friends from afar, you must continuously prep, mix, and cook to make a dish that the guest wants. After you being, begin prepping, the indicator on the slider will move back and forth between each end. When the indicator points to a corresponding area, click on the button to mark one instance of success. Okay, so another thing that kind of sucks about this, I don't know if it's going to tell you that, but it starts off like here and then kind of goes this way and then back for at least this kind of bit. But there's been times where it has one thing all the way near the end here and then the next one here and it bounces back and then you lose one of these which is a little bit cheap but on the upside so long as you don't fuck it up you'll get away with it it'll be fine like this event is actually incredibly easy so after you begin mixing hold the button to Make the indicator bar move over the sliding ring. When the indicator bar points to the prompted area, release the button to mark one instance of success. And then after you begin cooking, the indicator, blah, blah, blah. So a similar thing to the prep, just with cooking instead. Once cooking is complete, you can plate and decorate the dish. Three elements of dishes can be decorated. The tableware, accessories, and add-ons. Each element has several decorations to choose from. Uh, how you plate or how you like decorate the plate and everything literally does not matter so do what you want there all right and another fun thing for the recipe you get to keep it so you can cook it on your own whatever you want and here comes the first instance of uh you know seeing them actually prepare meals like you would prepare meals. All right. So you can click or press the space bar for this, so. It is insanely generous. And you can get the dopey smile. And this is literally all you're doing for the event, and it's like four days worth. And of course, it makes the grossest noises ever, but you know, whatever. I mean, I guess it's technically like accurate to certain cooking things, but that's the sound for all of it. Victory! Alright, so I can swap the ornaments as I feel like. So... I'm gonna keep the green one. Uh... That. And that. There you go. Doesn't actually matter. Again, you just put the damn thing down. Ta da! Sorry for the wait. This dish is called the Palace Jewels. Enjoy! That's not the stuff that I plated, but you know, whatever. You fucking assholes. Eat the food! Yes, we meant to say, you two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? Uh... Oh, now that you mention it, Paimon is a little hungry. Well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? <laughs> but we'll still let our guests enjoy the first bite. Because they're being assholes. 
The sauce looks a little overpowering. Oh, uh, according to Leo at custom, it's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. <clears throat> looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. <laughs> what is it? Do you need some water? No. It's delicious. The flavor is so pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. Um, uh, all right. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> what is that? Crab roe? Yes, you have quite the palate, Lynette. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. According to the creator, <laughs> chewy crab, compliments succulent shrimp, making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. I absolutely hate your existence. Uh, anyway, I am waiting for someone on YouTube to, you know, prepare this, like, a version of this themselves. Like, I know there's one channel in particular that does, like, that is probably, I think, has already made, like, pretty much every Genshin-related meal that could be made. It's amazing. They'll probably do this, too, so <laughs> I'll have to watch for it and, uh maybe attempt it because it this is actually one dish that looks delicious the crab row glitters like pearls of gold and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade hence its name the palace jewel so that's where the name comes from huh. i suppose it's quite fitting then huh. was paimon always this well spoken she is just regurgitating what someone else wrote. This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Uh-huh. Uh, it's half gone already? When did that happen? <laughs> Probably when you were busy yapping away. I heard that in Liyue. The biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. Wait, don't fight! All right, and after you do that, you can uh, talk to each one. I think I'm finally getting the hang of chopsticks. Practice makes perfect, huh, Riff uh, Yeah. Well, Linny and Lynette picked it up in no time, but they're naturally dexterous. Unlike me, it's taken me a lot longer, but I'm slowly getting there. Oh, uh, speaking of chopsticks, in one of the shows we've seen here, someone performed a conjuring trick using a bowl and chopsticks. So, if I want to be a good magician's assistant, I need to keep practicing. Ah. Who's she? Lenny. Lynette's not usually so forthcoming about what she likes. <laughs> but this time, well, she's expressed it in more ways than one. I guess you've rubbed off on her, too. Genuinely not. I haven't technically met you guys yet. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe your cooking is simply too delicious to resist. The next time our paths cross in Fontaine, you'll have to fire up your cooking skills for my other siblings as well. How does that sound, oh great master chef? Whatever you say, oh great magician. Oh yeah? <laughs> well then, I'll have to clear my schedule. Do what you want, dude. I don't care. Alright. Happy! I'm so sad you can't pet the dog. Miss Lynette and there's Kitty. Calorie surplus detected. Digestion mode engaged. I've never seen you eat so much. Yeah. Well, Winnie and I are usually careful about what we eat. Because we have to stay in performance shape. That... Plus, it's generally bad for to overindulge at the dinner table. But once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Mm -hmm. Besides, if I'd waited until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, the food would have gone cold. Hmm. 
So your friends like the dish, huh? Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. Mm. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Eh, because the event's already all opened up, I'm just going to do this. The next sequence break, we're going to be seeing people from, I believe, Sumeru next. I've already done this event on my main account. That's why I know what's going to happen. Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. Yay! I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end. But it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day-to-day -day here. Damn right. So it should be plain sailing. Well... Just as long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. Oh, you mean like the one that it just cut to you just now? Oh, have you had someone like that before? Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. <laughs> you mean like the one they're focusing on right now? <laughs> They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original, or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Shuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. I know that voice. Technically, no, you don't, but that's okay. We'll have each of your signature dishes, please, as fast as you can serve them. The most expensive ones. Okay, so the thing with Farizan is that, uh, in terms of, like, actual story, she's not in any of it. I think, uh, she's part of a hangout quest. Farazan! Oops, uh, Madam Farazan! <laughs> oh my! Traveler! Paimon! Whatever are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing! Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, please, uh, slow down. Uh. None of us slept last night. How come Madame Farzan still has so much energy? Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Oh, this is the first time that we see Dory. Uh, all that you need to know about her is that uh, I don't like her. That's it. Yeah. And Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Well, why don't you all take a seat and catch your breath? You wait through this and explain blah blah blah. Chef, huh? Wow. No rest for the wicked. Yeah. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leoa specialties. So, why are you all in Leoa again? Something about being an onboard consultant? I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Oh, Madame Farazan and me were hired to fine-tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. That sounds like illegal overtime. Uh, overtime for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Let Paimon guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> it's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up. 
will have the... <clears throat> Farzan, uh, Madam Farzan, that is. While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood-based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Well, that sucks for you because uh, that wouldn't deter me. If I wanted seafood, then I will have seafood. Hm. That's actually a good point. Is it? Not to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Huh? Oh, that's not because of hunger. <laughs> Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farzan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but why do I feel like I'm being tricked? Uh, probably because you are. So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, Traveler. Motherfucker. Alright. Let's talk to Smiley and Chow. You jinxed it, my dude. So, expensive, but no seafood. And nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <sighs> Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Oh, probably. Oh, that story. Is she doing this on purpose? I bet Mora that she is. This isn't Leoli Pavilion or Xinhua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. Mm. Well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for a 30,000 mora. Trickery. Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert <laughs> knife work and very precise control over the heat. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips, then gently stir fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. This sounds genuinely impossible, the way that you're describing it. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So this dish gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise! Uh, you know, you don't have to directly repeat everything that they literally just said. Uh, do you think I'll be able to pull it off? Not Clicky. Don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. That sounds like the most important part. Believe in yourself. You can do this. And if you mess it up, I'm almost to be happy to eat it. <laughs> Go figure. She's such a glutton. All right, let's start. Okay, apparently this is gonna end up being its own video. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Doink. Doink.
Motherfucker. I almost ruined it twice. It's making me hungry. Even though this meal is gonna, like the finished real, it's gonna look disgusting. Okay, here's the part where I said it was cheap. See, it docks you right away, even though you couldn't control that. Yeah, that looks just gross. Do that. And okay, I'll keep that there. And you can have this. Doesn't matter. Yay! Exit. Food's ready. Please enjoy. Ooh, smells delightful. Oh, we meant to ask. Have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Uh. Did Dory just offer us a free meal? Why did she become so generous? <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on, sit down and join us. Everyone, dig in. This dish looks simple enough, and I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario, maybe 10,000 mora? This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, God. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. Mm-hmm. Is this foul? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom bore. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. How is this made? Why did it have, like, her eyes doing the crazy shaky kind of thing? That was a terrible shot. Um, anyway, the smokiness is from the ham. That was my addition. Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've noticed. Yep, every single scoop is needed from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yan Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I am not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Uh, uh how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? Is it? Well, you see. I know some special cooking techniques. Wow. So this dish really is one of a kind. Mm -hmm. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Ah, Paimon forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds, alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together, and also the complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble. The name, if I'm not mistaken is a Leoic idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Wait, is that not a requirement anymore? <laughs> uh, huh? Oh, that used to be a thing? I almost forgot that you're also from her habitat. So, um, anyway, how much does this dish cost? Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. <laughs> 30,000? Uh, about that, Paimon, traveler, I merely invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. Uh, actually, you technically did, because when Paimon was like, wait, Dory's offering a free meal, you didn't disprove that. So, uh, nice try. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Hell no. Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. 30,000 
20,000 mora surely isn't an outrageous amount for the most magnanimous Lord Sangjima Bay. Yeah! As a famous merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. <sighs> but every single mora matters, you know? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Mm -hmm. Once I'm back in Sunaru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. Whatever. Oh, I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. I never thought you'd take on such strenuous work. Uh, 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 my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Mm. Oh, uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience. Oh, but... It sure is exhausting. Hmm. Yeah, what would have been really nice to see? I'll hate them. <laughs> I adore him, so you know. Now, how should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? Be honest, you chose Wang Shu in to try and save money, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have known you'd see through me. <sighs> Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. You're one to talk, Paimon. You freeload whenever you get the chance. Well, yeah, but that's why Paimon's qualified to talk about this. That doesn't make you qualified. That just makes you a hypocrite. Miss Farizan, I'm not calling you the other thing. Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making it. I never thought you'd take a job away from any ruins. Well, about that. Even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dory's offer was quite enticing. Mm -hmm. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright. We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on you. Okay. You and Pine work, but I can't read that fast enough, sorry. That was a pain in my tushy. Alright. So, next, uh... Blah, 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 Confirm. Morning. Time to fire up the stove for another day of customers. Thanks again. No problem. Great work. Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Oh, yeah. Wait, no! Every time you say something like that, you jinx it! Hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to be seeing uh, three characters from 
Inazuma, which is an area you will be seeing sooner. And um, yeah, if I recall, none of these three are even really actively seen in the Archon quest at all. So I have to do story quests for you to understand any of these people. Dude, what up, bro? I didn't know you were in Liyue too. It's always nice to run into a broad Inazuman fellow. Uh, wait, did I say that right? <laughs> broad Inazuman fellow. <laughs> okay, so... Arataki Ito. Um, the simplest way I can describe him is that he's a himbo. Uh, yeah, and he's a, he's a red oni, but that's as far as I'll mention. So... Yeah, leader of the Arataki gang, that's about it. That's all you really need to know. But yeah, he's, um... He's a himbo. Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuman abroad, boss. Alright. Cookie Shinobu, um... She's also a member of the, uh, Arataki gang. And, um... Yeah, uh... For me, personally... She's my favorite healer. Um, like, if I were to get her, like, through wishing and everything, I'm going to be replacing Barbara lightning fast. That's how, uh, that's how m much more useful she is to me. And by the way, I made an unintentional pun by saying that I'd sw switch uh, Barbara out lightning fast because she's an Electro character. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're this far from home, don't we, Ayato? <laughs> Kamisato Ayato. He is the head of the uh, Yashiro Commission and the Kamisato clan. Uh, yeah, you'll we'll learn about him a bit more later when I do his story quest. I don't think he's in the Archon quest for the most part. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, and that's her stupid nickname for uh, Ito. Huh? Oh, hey, flying lavender melon. Uh, of the sky cleaving white iron variety. <laughs> and my compadre too. All my buddies in one place. God, today's my lucky day. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, this is his nickname for uh, Paimon. This bit is a reference to a previous event, which was a beetle brawling kind of nonsense so that's what was going on there because he's dumb ah, that could wait as soon as i announced that arataki ito is available for hire they'll be throwing more at me right now i got a more urgent situation to attend to i'm in the mood for some good spicy food Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakato's okay and whatnot. The look on Shinobu's face seems to say, don't ask. You can't see, like, half of her face. How would you even know? Anyway, so uh, what about you, Ayato? Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liyue. Naturally, I came here as soon as I could. But, alas, it was too late. Aww. What? You missed it? Oh man, what a bummer! <laughs> Quite the bummer, indeed. Though all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. Oh god. <laughs> sure thing, my man. But uh, uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef, anyway? Uh, hey, get the chef out here! I got compadres to feed! I'm the chef. Yeah, <laughs> sure, me too. Wait, what? <laughs> wow! Book checker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. But the main chef is another guy. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. I absolutely got you. Anyway, we'll let's get him. Whatever. So, uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the palace jewels, a trembling strings and rushing reeds, or... Boss, don't forget the budget. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more, uh, down to earth? <laughs> down to earth. 
Oh, well, well, we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows. Hmm? Ayato, please don't talk like a himbo too, okay? A bro just knows. Yes, a bro just knows. <laughs> bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows. Is this for real? Ah, oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. Yeah, you basically got his entire spiel here. Seriously, if I blinked, I would have missed a crimson staff. Just launched itself a bloom pruner and sent it flying. I'd expect no less of the bona fide beetle battle king himself. It sounds like a truly epoch defining duel. Yeah, okay. <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so I made some excuses and slipped away. Anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make. So I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, what is it called humbly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Uh, tofu? Wait, tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Old Bullchucker can't eat that. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. <sighs> Never mind. I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? <laughs> no one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship, or my name ain't Arataki Ito. <laughs> hey, where's our food at? Hurry up, I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff. Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. Oh, brother, his whole ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. Uh, we're locked in now. We gotta cook that dish. Uh, how about we throw some free appetizers in? Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. Okay, so... Yeah. He is, um... I think, like, severely allergic to beans because... I guess it's an Oni weakness. So, yeah. So yeah, we gotta make this dish, but then find a way to make it so that Ito doesn't eat any of it. Hell of a challenge, right? <laughs> easy to fi fix anything so or change anything so humbly enough this doesn't look like meat he says oh yeah it's 
it's made to look and taste like meat, but it genuinely just looks like big hunks of tofu, and I mean like big hunks of tofu. <laughs> I'd be willing to eat it. This is humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo! Love me that portion size. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. <clears throat> Boss, we should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Polite? Uh, Shinobu, I thought old timey traditions weren't your style. Uh, now that I've finished in the kitchen, I'm a guest too. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm assuming that this response is him tasting it and realizing, yeah, this is fucking tofu. Finally, it's my turn. I spy a big chunk of deliciousness with my name on it. Oh, God. Wait, don't. Huh? Wait, what is it now? You know the drill. Uh, okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh, time I forgot to tell you the really cool origin story of this dish. Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet. The origin story is like, like, going traveling without a tour guide. Trust Paimon, you'll get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? <laughs> that compadre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going to waste. All right, then. Give me the full story. I'm all ears. That's more like it. Let's start. With the ingredients. Actually, no. Let's start with the story of Wang Xuan, which starts with the history of Dihua Marsh. Now's our chance, traveler. Got it. Man, the tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. <laughs> People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah. That's a good way to think about life. Darn. There's no segue to Tofu from here. How did we get so off topic? Uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. But we're already beyond stuffed. Hey, oh, compadre. Shinobu, have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dregs, why don't ya? <laughs> that's it. I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. <laughs> Wait, boss, that's made of... One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang, so they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. <laughs> Fucking Ayato coming in there with the save. <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't know. Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liyue. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course, including mine and Ayato's. Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it. I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fan, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? El Chefe? Oh. Uh, you saved the day, Ayato. Count Crushmore. Instant kill. I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. You didn't really come for the Onikabuto fighting contest, did you? <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. No, in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. 
How come you didn't come to the lantern right then? Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid the crowds. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, as for the leftover tofu... Yes, I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. Yeah, huh. okay. I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. So, why did you really come to Leola? Well, uh, thing is... I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor, which allowed him to hitch a ride here. Mm. After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakato. Just because he's here already! No other reason! Yeah. And that's a dialogue for both of them. Like, if you were to talk to one and then talk to the other, you get the same exact dialogue. I got trapped with that before. All right. Looks like that's all sorted. All right. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. Okay. Ta da! And now... Meow. Now for the fourth and final day. The value of knowledge cannot... Shut up. <laughs> How time flies. My burns are almost healed now, so I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. Two. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. Shut up. Uh, why does time I feel like you just jinxed us again? This one's the worst. We made it for me. To the evening. It ended up being a pretty smooth day after all. Maybe it's because we've gotten so experienced at running this whole thing. And it's not the worst because it's like the most difficult or anything like that. None of them are difficult. It's the worst because of one of the people that I have to deal with. All the people that you're, we're going to see here are from Mondstadt. Only one of them is someone that we've seen before. But one of them is terrible. We've come a long way since our first day on the job, haven't we? Hmm. Back then, we were struggling to remember who ordered what. But everything's a piece of cake now. Don't get ahead of yourself. The day still isn't over yet. Yeah, but who would come by this late in the evening? Uh, actually, now that Paimon thinks of it, Lenny and his siblings came around about Look the day, didn't they? familiar? Traveler? Paimon? Fancy seeing you two here. Hi, Amber. And you and Mika, too! Are you here for dinner? Why so late in the day? We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. The original plan was to make do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. But Captain Eula brought up the fact that none of us have eaten Liyue cuisine for quite some time. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. I hate the voice acting. He is... Basically grating at my ears. <laughs> Ooh, so this is Eula's treat, huh? <clears throat> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip, so I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you have a problem with that? No. Well, welcome to Wang Shu Inn. May I take your order? Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec. Why are you taking our order? Why are you so offended by it? The traveler's been filling in for the chef here. You came at just the right time. You'll be the last customers to enjoy her cooking before the original chef takes back the rings. <laughs> they didn't fix the dialogue. 
They said her cooking. I'm playing a he. Wow, really? Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. So, what shall we get? Hmm. I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. Mika, Eula, what are you in the mood for? Anything goes. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary night's cooking for myself. I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for me. Please stop talking forever. Something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. Beyond that, anything goes. I did it. Wasn't it your idea to come here, though? Yeesh, this is like getting blood from a stone. <laughs> All right, guess it's up to you, Amber. You name it, we'll cook it. Huh? Then I guess... Eh, I don't really mind either. Anything goes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was my thought too. I'm sorry. I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I could pick from the menu at random, but I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. Oh, one thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Neither of them can drink. It's a real pity. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water here. Keep up. Sparkling water is uh, not good, in my opinion, but you know. We have a doozy! Anything goes, huh? Oh dear. This is a chef's worst nightmare. With no idea of your customer's palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Oh god. Still, now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. Go on. Show them what you've got. Oh, you're leaving it to me? Okay, let me think. What do they like? What could they be craving? I don't know! Alright, time for me to bullshit this. <laughs> Alright. And it has ham. It has bamboo. What it looks like. It has a snapdragon, it has an eggy, and it has rice, apparently. That was a bamboo piece. Alright. Meh. 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 Yeah, bamboo shoots. Yay! I'm gonna lose a thingy because it's being a cheap bastard. Mm -hmm. Cooking complete. And this is the last setup that. Yeah, doesn't matter. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Honestly, this just looks like a typical uh, fried rice. So, you know. Right there. This would probably be egg. This looks like carrot, and this looks like peas. Fried rice is actually really easy to make, mm, and it's tasty. This is delicious. Perfectly seasoned, and even the rice is bursting with flavor. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. <laughs> You've put the finest Favonian field rations to shame, and that's no mean feat. So tell us, traveler. What's this one called? It's called... Um... Paimon's guessing we can't just call it anything goes, right? Oh, hell, Paimon doesn't know how to explain this dish at all! It's got no name, it's just basic ingredients simply cooked! Basic ingredients simply cooked? Really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here, or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. This isn't the finest dish in the world, but it's the one you need right now. Not the finest dish in the world, 
with the one they need right now. Okay, you've lost Paimon. What do you mean? <laughs> you've been on the road for a long time, and you've only been eating field rations the entire time. So you mean, we only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Mm, there's got to be more to it than that. That's literally not what I said. Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. Oh, kind of like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Huh, that makes sense. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Uh, but Good Hunter's in Mondstadt. Why make a point of trying Lyric Cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? Oh, I'm not talking about the taste. I just meant the feeling of comfort, you know? It's like the feeling of coming home. Mm. Comfort. Coming home. Well, Yan Xiao did say we want to make our guests feel right at home. What makes for a tasty dish is highly subjective. But a chef caters to all custom... Or... Okay. But a chef caters to all comers. <laughs> Gotta put ourselves in their shoes. And that's a chef's passion for putting smiles on customers' faces. So in other words... The secret ingredient is passion? Despite how terribly cliched that sounds, I'll admit that it holds true for this meal. <laughs> well played. Mark my words. I'll remember this recipe. Bullshit. Okay, but you can't really have a recipe without a name though, right? Have we come up with a name for this dish yet? I hadn't really thought that far. Hmm. How about right at home? Works for me. I don't give a shit. The rations we brought were adapted for my signature moon pies. To come up with something even tastier. I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. They're rations. Rations aren't really meant to be, you know, the pinnacle of, uh, deliciousness as far as I'm aware. Still, please do drop by and try a few Stormcrest pies next time you're in town. I insist. So aggressive. Amber. Oh, sorry, I zoned out just now. Didn't got some. Coming. Got something on your mind? Yeah, that food you cooked for us just now. It reminded me of the meals my grandfather used to make for me. <laughs> I thought I'd forgotten how they tasted, but it all came rushing back. Mm. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. I do my outrider training with him until the evening, then wait patiently at the dinner table. I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner, and even though she'd always find something to complain about, I could tell she really enjoyed the food. Ah, so maybe she remembers too. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. She'll only give you another earful. I don't plan on talking to her again right now. I'm ignoring her until I have to do her story quest. Now let's talk to you, even though I don't want to. When I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. But everyone still enjoyed them a lot. Maybe passion was the secret ingredient then too. Whatever floats your boat, dude. I'm leaving. There you are. Thank you for all of your hard work over the past few days. Uh, my pleasure. Assuming I'm still being paid, that is. <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks, are we? Here, take it. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Call it a bonus. Hard work is rewarded here. Yay! Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away! It's my money, piss off. I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. At the rate you were progressing, a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. Well, I, for one, look forward to enjoying your cooking many more times in the future. <laughs> Anytime. Bring some friends with you next time and I'll show you all what Smiley Yunshao can do when working with both hands intact. Great! Although, just to be on the safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. You may have just jinxed it again. Alrighty. 
And that's the end of uh, that event. So it does uh, contribute to the battle pass. Claim that. Just brought me up two levels. Fun times, so. Claim all. I, again, I don't have the, the uh, Gnostic Hymn. I can't afford it, so I don't have that. So, that. And for the event details, you get more bonus stuff. And there you go. And it's giving me a bunch of items that I... Uh, <clears throat> Haven't obtained yet because uh, a lot of them are like domain items. So, <laughs> 451. Ah, uh, that's great. All right. Buy two of those. What does this one look like? Okay, so I got four there, six there. And I have just over 14 days left to try again to see if I can get Yaimiko. Although I did actually manage to beat the odds and got Yaimiko on my main account, so if I miss it on this one, I won't mind too much. But, uh... Is there anything else I wanted to do? Um... No, I've, ac I've actually spent too much time. So, um... Yeah, I apologize that there will not be Geoculi hunting in uh, this video. But we'll do it next time. And um, depending on how quickly I go about it, it may even just be like one video. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, until then, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like my content, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you'd like to support me further, you can consider commissioning me for digital art or you can support me on Patreon. Until then, see you guys later. Toodles!